Hello everyone, my name is Turk German and I'm part of the chat system team of Prism 5.0. The product owner and mentor for this product is Masu Sujari. So my user story is about uh, displaying the agent results of the client, which as a client, I would like to view a list of the search results for agents after, after entering either a name or preferred location. So the acceptance criteria should be that the client should be able to find an agent by the search box and an or that the client should be able to find the closest agent based on the entered location. Also, the client should be able to see a list of all the agents from the start. So when the client enters in the find the agent's web page, there's going to be two search bars, one for the name, agent's name, and one for the agent's location. And when and when popped up right there, also all the agents will be displayed when the client enters in the web page right away. So now I'm going to show you the the local host of displaying the agents. So right here, I added a link of finding your agent right here. I then added on the other Brisome header since that one is more of properties such as finding the property or saving the searches of the properties and so on. So this is more suitable for this page as it's more of a help and services like help about help rules and regulations and so on. So right here is um, if I click on find your agent. Now there's these two search parts: the agent's name and the city and province, as well as all these agents that are listed right away. And you can click on these views right here this grid view right here which pops up all the agents in grid view also these views were um, made by Lewis right. and the way how these agents are displayed is both from the grid view HTML and from the list view HTML so from the entry repeat of the, it's from the statement and the agent test. The statement is the attributes like um, full name, location, email, and the forms of the agent class, which is from the agent test. Now, what the agent test is getting from is getting from this controller right here. We're getting the results of all the data by calling the gates agents method. And that method is from the services of agents JavaScript right here, which this its agents method is calling a HTTP method of a GET request, which is getting from the Brisom API of agents, and from the agents, the Brisom API is here's the list of all the agents lists, with the attributes and the values right here, so like cell phone and their data. Also from the API I had added to I added um, more attributes such as um certificates, um, contractors, uh, locations so that um there could be you can filter in there can be more filters to find the agent that you're looking for. And those filters are what Mark has implemented. So this should be it for this display the method. So now I'm going to be talking about the, the search bars now. So here's a search bar where I can type in. So once you type in a letter, it's going to be having a type um, complete right here. So each input that you type in, it's, it gets um, filtered right here. And this filter right here is getting the search bar right here. It's getting from the agent search HTML, which I created those two of the agent name and the agent location. And the type ahead is filtering in each input based on the uniqueness of the full name, meaning that if there's two John Smiths, only one John Smith is going to appear in the search bar. And that um, the placeholders are implemented right here and the limit is up to five since you don't want uh, since a long list isn't needed as you don't want to like scroll down all the way 
So that's why I limited it to five and each input will limit each time. So here is a list of John's, see all these John's right here, our list right here, as well as from the list view right here. And I can filter in by both names, so I can type in John Smith. I can also type in uh, their last name also, so let's say Jones. So that's going to type in, that's going to display right here. I can also display by the um, location. So let's say Miami. Here's all the agents from Miami. And I can also display by their region, let's say Florida. And here's the regions from all from Florida. And I can do it from both bars. So let's say John Smith again. But let's add one to filter in based on the location where um, I'm looking for. Let's, uh, so I'm looking for the one in um, New York. So Edison. And here it goes. Right here. Also, you can see in all the filter results. So John Smith is two total records. And right here, if I delete, it's five, six total records. All these um, results are being um, spliced into pages, which I'm going to be talking about in another user story of pagination. And one last thing is about if the agent doesn't exist in the search bar, let's say um, um, manual. So right here, it displayed a no results found and that the user, the client should type try again by typing in another filter. It also works the same way here in the location, like Kelly. California. Again, no results found, and that the agent should be able to to try again for the search bars. And that these are this is it for the displaying the agents. And here is my here's the contact information. right here so these are our emails and phones if you have any questions about this video and here is on um, dr masood sajadi's contact information and thank you for your time